Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last case. We had a ton of this stuff, but we had our last case of 2020, Gold Rush Autograph Full-Size Baseball Helmets. Really fun stuff. We will play Who Am I with the last four boxes here. For bragging rights, I'll give you some clues. You guys can guess uh, and see if any of you ladies or gentlemen were able to are able to figure it out. Random player break number 17. You know how this works by now. We sell 26 spots. We uh, multiply that by two, so you get two spots for one two players for one spot so there's this group right here good luck boys and girls let's double it up and there is the huge list of players right here let's roll it let's randomize each list one and a four five times one two three four and fifth and final time after five times we got Ben all the way down to big boys double oh seven All right, so one and a four, five times for the players. One, two, three, four, and good luck, fifth and final time. After five, we got Jose Ramirez down to Carlton Fisk. So Jose Ramirez all the way down to Carlton Fisk. Now their their team, their team should be on the helmet. So that's, that's how you know which version of these players are gonna be. All right. So I'm just going to scroll through this list just as is, and then I'll alphabetize by your first names, and then give everybody a chance to see and collect their thoughts on who they have. It's just for the recording, just so if people want to watch later, they can uh, make sure everything's fine. All right, let's sort by column A. So Aaron Pettit, that's your group of teams right there, including that guy. Ben, Chris, Big Boys 007, Edwin, Gary. Ian, Jim, Josh, Nick, Nick F, Nick S, Richard, and Spencer. There you go. So I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then I'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. There were no deals done, but the list actually that I've alphabetized by player name now remains the same. Let's just scroll back through it one more time. And if you're re-watching the video, you can always pause to make sure you got the players that you got originally from the randomizer. There's the case right up there. We're gonna pop that open right on that second camera above my head. Bring, the, bring each individual box here to the main camera. We'll play a quick round of Who Am I for all four of the uh, full-size helmets. And we'll go from there. Some of them are like, almost like toy helmets that, are, that have the autographs in it. Every once in a while, you get like a really nice, like full-size helmet. So we'll see which one is which. Is this like an extended version of Who Am I? It's, there's four opportunities of Who Ooh. Am I. Who? I need like a theme song for Who Am I. You know what you need to do? Who are you? Who? 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 Do you remember? Do you remember Pete Hopper, the rapper from like North Carolina? No. Early 2000s. He has a song called Who Am I. If it's family friendly, maybe. Uh, well, it's, you could get an edited version. <laughs> There's the full size helmet right there. All right, so let's pop this open. Let's see. Let's see who this is going to be. Oh, almost revealed the name. They put like a little sticker inside the name there. All right, I see it. All right, put your thinking caps on, folks. Uh, in previous instances, no, I've not been able to tell the difference whether it's a real helmet or kind of a cheaper helmet. You'll see what I mean when, 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 you, when you see it. Um, okay, who am I? I'm a Hall of Famer, a Cy Young Award winner, an eight-time All-Star, a World Series winner, a Silver Slugger, an NLCS MVP, and a Rolaids Relief Award winner. That should start to give it away. But when I won the World Series, I don't think it was as a reliever. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It was not. No, not Seaver. I don't think Seaver was ever a reliever. <laughs> no, not Otani. Although I think he should be turned into a closer. Not Glavin. He never closed. Chris Gill's got it. John Smoltz. 
won a Rollades Relief Award, probably in the season where he had 55 saves in 2002 with the Braves. What a, what a great turnaround for him. Not too many players who have uh, 213 wins in their career and 154 saves in their career. All right, so there's the helmet inside here. There you go. So you can kind of see what I mean about the sort of cheaper helmets here. With that kind of, you know, that kind of interior. But it's got the JSA card inside there, if you can see. It's kind of hard to see. So I just pull it out for you. There it is. There's the JSA card right there. And there's the Smoltz autograph right there with the brace on it. Should I just take it out? Sure. Might as well. I'm digging all into it anyway. There it is. Nice. Good looking autograph. Any other authentication right here? There's the JSA sticker on the back. So almost not, not quite a batting practice helmet, but you know, you know what I mean. You've seen these helmets before. All right, who has John Smoltz? Scroll down to John Smoltz. Spencer Barclay. Nice, there you go, Spence. Congrats to you. Let's put this right back inside here. Let's see, they had the helmet inside first, and then the brown paper. I don't know if we reuse these boxes. I have no idea how we've been doing this, but. They ship in a different box, the group says. Okay, it shows you how much I know about my own business. Uh, <laughs> there, there's Spencer, random player 17. They just say, Joe, you just look pretty. <laughs> Get on camera and open up things. All right, it's like, all right, fine, fair enough. All right, next box. Good luck. We have another hurler here. This guy's also pretty good. Another Hall of Fame hurler, a three-time Cy Young Award winner, a six-time All-Star, three-time World Series winner, four-time Gold Glover, and a two-time ERA title champion. Born in New York, but grew up in Scottsdale. Went to Scottsdale High School in Scottsdale, Arizona, and then went to Arizona State University in Tempe. Well, he's also credited with Townsend University. I don't know what, what happened there, but maybe there's a transfer in there somewhere. But Hall of Famer with 411 out of 444 votes. What, what is that? I don't know why the baseballreference.com just doesn't ca do calculate the percentage for me. 411 divided by 444 with 92.56% of the vote. It's pretty good. Three-time World Series winner back in the day when this team was really good. He has 268 wins over his 19-year career with just one team. With just with one team. And a career 2,212 strikeouts. Back when this team was really good. They haven't been good since the last time they won a World Series in 1983. But he won one in 1970 and he won one in 1966, which is pretty amazing. A long career there. Baltimore knocking one out in three different decades. They just didn't win. Uh, no, they won in the 70s. Yeah, they won one in the 60s with him on the team. I think they won. But... Back when the team was good. Yeah, Chris Gill has been nailing him. Jim Palmer, 19 years on the same team, 268 wins, three 20-win seasons, 
I mean, a lot of seasons with under a three ERA. Some one was a two oh nine ERA. He's pretty darn good. Um, yeah, I mean, he's pretty darn good. Three World Series. The Orioles beat my Dodgers in 1966. I remember that. That was a heartbreaker. Uh, <laughs> they beat the Reds in 1970. That's probably that's big red machine era, I think. And then they beat the Phillies in 1983. Jim Palmer. This guy was pretty, pretty good. So let's see who has it. That would be Big Boys, 007, with the old Orioles legend. All right. Always like that Orioles logo. As a West Coast kid, I always wonder what would it, what would it have been like to grow up with that little goofy guy there. All right, there's the uh, there's the JSA card inside there, the corresponding sticker on the back right there. Pretty nice stuff. Kind of wish they had the uh, the white panel on the front, but still a nice looking helmet. Inside the box here, the shipping team can reuse whatever they want to use at their discretion. This goes to Big Boys 007 in RP Random Player Break number 17. There it is, right there. Ding! Big Boys 007 written on the box. Two more to go. All right, empty box. And the next one, good luck. All right, next one, another old school guy. And there'll be one big clue right here that, that, that'll give away who this is. This time we've got a middle infielder, a second baseman, a right-handed second baseman, a Hall of Famer, 10-time All-Star, two-time World Series winner, eight-time Gold Glover, and and what, what is this award? MLPO? Oh, TSN Major League Player of the Year, I guess, when that was a thing. He was voted in by the Veterans Committee to, into the Hall of Fame in 2001. Not Fisk, not Morgan, not Smith. He won two World Series. Now, here, here's the clue that'll give it away. He hit one of this team's most epic home runs in not only this team's history, but in Major League history in a dramatic ninth inning blast that decided the entire World Series. This remains the only walk-off home run in a seventh game of a World Series. Yep, Obi-Wan's got it. Yep, Chris Gill's got it. Maz. Bill Mazeroski. Yeah, still, he's 83 years young right now. He's got a birthday coming up on September 5th. So, okay, so this is a nicer helmet right here. Still, Game 7 of the World Series, 1960 World Series, where the Pirates beat, let's, I still have my baseball reference page up, Pirates beat the Yankees in seven games. He also hit 320 in that series. Two home runs, one of which was the famous one. Five RBIs, a couple doubles right here. There's his gold ink on the Pirates 
black right there, which is nice. You got a, you got an ear flap here. So these, these are one of the nicer designs and some extra padding in here by Rawlings. I don't think this is a helmet that you can use. No, it says on-field equipment. Well, anyway, you can read all the safety disclaimers right there. And there it is. Very nice. And we got the PSA DNA sticker and the corresponding card in the bag right over here. So who's got old Bill? Bill Mazeroski. Let's go back to the list. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the list. Nicholas Stone. There you go. Nice. This is a shirt. Gold ink right on the black. That's, that's a sharp looking helmet right there. Let's see what's in the last one. So we got three old Hall of Famers so far. Will the fourth be a youngin? Will we see a youngster? Oh, you want to say they didn't have ear flaps in, back in the day? This might not historically accurate. I wonder if old Bill looked at this helmet and was like, I didn't wear, we didn't have ear flaps on our helmets. All right, two, Nicolas. Stone. Probably. Uh, what else do you want me to wear? A skirt? <laughs> right. Old 83-year-old Bill Mazeroski signing helmets. And he's just like, what is this? What's going on here? What do you want me to do? What is this crap on my ears? Where's it? Baseball helmets. They got speakers in these things? Kids aren't collecting cards anymore? What's going on here? Alright, last one. Where's the sticker? Oh, down here? Okay. Another old school guy. Another old schooler. I think he's also a Hall. Are these all Hall of Famers? I think they might. I think they might be, unless they're youngsters. Okay, I am a Hall of Famer, 12 time All Star. Another person who's won multiple World Series, two World Series. 10-time Gold Glover, four-time Silver Slugger, an ALCS MVP, and an All-Star MVP. Switch hitter, throws right, Puerto Rican, and got 523 votes out of 381. Which I think if I did the math right, I feel like Obi-Wan, well, okay. I was gonna say, you, you probably can't answer this question. All right, uh, started his career with one team, with San Diego. Played most of his t career, I think, with this team. That's, wh that's what color his helmet is in here. Then went to Baltimore for a few years, Cleveland for a few years, Mets and White Sox for a season, and then Arizona and Chicago White Sox for a season. 300 lifetime, 210 home runs, 1100, over 1,100 RBIs. You know, 474 strikeouts, 2,000, almost a 3,000 hit club guy, 2,724, a lot of doubles, 504 doubles in his career, 80 triples. He was an excellent glove guy as well. His World Series were both with Toronto. I think Obi-Wan and Big River have got it. Uh, Toronto won in 1992, and then the one the, directly the year right after that, 92 and 93. One of the back-to-backers. It is Roberto Almar, excellent player. That was that one unfortunate incident. No, it's Cleveland edition. I just saw a blue helmet. Wow. Fooled. I got trolled here. That was, uh, he spent a few years in Cleveland. He was all-star in those seasons too. It was pretty good. It's Cleveland Roberto Almar. I thought it was going to be Blue Jays Roberto Almar. All right, there you go. Got a nice auto, silver ink on the Cleveland right here. JSA, JSA card inside the bag. All that will ship, of course. All right. I got fooled. I, I kind of peeked in there. I saw a little bit of blue. Couldn't tell the hue, but it's going to be that. We got uh, Gary, Gary Tashima with the Roberto Alomar. And there you go. That was our fourth and final helmet. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone. 
for getting into the action. I will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.